Red Figure Pottery in Ancient Greece Red Figure Pottery is a style of Greek vase painting that was invented in Athens, Greece around 530 BC. In this type of style, the decoration is left in the red clay color and the background is painted black. The black paint was a mix of alkali potash or soda, clay with silicon content, and black ferrous oxide of iron. The paint was affixed to the pot using a fixative of urine or vinegar, which later burned away. Accessory colors were used sparingly in the 6th century BC and white became common towards the 5th and 4th centuries BC. The inner details of the works are painted with lines of varying thickness. Red figure pottery varies from previous Greek pottery because of the use of a brush as a tool allows for the artist to create greater fluidity than the previously used engraver. While the red pottery figure technique was introduced by the bilingual potters such as the Anakides painter and Siax, it was first used as a full pot approach by the Pioneer Group. Characterized by British historian of ancient Greek art John Boardman as the first conscious art movement by Western standards, these painters experimented with torsion and introduced foreshortening into pottery painting. The Pioneer's group work all originated from the same potter's quarter of Athens, Karamikos. The potter's work often referenced one another's. This is why Boardman established them as a conscious art movement. After Athenides introduced foreshortening in his work, Ephronius attempted to do so as well. These two potters formed a highly popularized, friendly rivalry. This rivalry became so heated that Athenides painted a taunt on his Anteos Herider, Os Oedipote Ephronius, which translates to, Ephronius hasn't produced anything this good. The later archaic style was popular around 500 to 470 BC and was influenced by black figure pottery. During this time period, the demand of black figure pottery had greatly decreased. Potters then started to create a new style, which would likely fit the market's demand. The most important features of the late archaic style are 3D perspective, detailed scenes, and Greek gods or heroes as the focal point. 3D perspective and detailed scenes were found on both the front and back. While most pieces concerned ancient Greek myths and gods or Greek heroes, the Athenian's daily life was also found depicted by painters. One famous painter of this era was the Berlin painter, who was active from around 490 to 460 BC. He was considered the best painter of his time, and he developed the classic style of Attic red figure pottery. The Berlin painter was known for his detailed line works, as seen in his facial details and drapery of clothing. The Berlin painter also depicted fawns and Greek animals in his works in addition to his figures. The eyes that he painted were typically open, long, and the pupil placed toward the inner eye. This feature helped historians distinguish his pieces from the vast amount of other works discovered because his were found across Europe, though most of them in Italy. During the early classical period, the mastering of the technique of red figure painting continued. The new phase can be explained as lingering subarchaic in its mood. A certain type of wall painting brought forth more possibilities of a new conception of space in figure ground compositions. These compositions were observed by vase painters and influenced their creations. The Novi painter is one of the earliest examples of this new style. This painter got his name for his Kyalix crater, or mixing bowl, that has the representation of the death of the children of Novi. The figures on these pieces are drawn with a lot of dress and armor that is common to the pattern in the archaic manner. The vessel is seen to show techniques of the mural paintings of Polygatus, another Greek painter of the 5th century. The forms on the crater are arranged so that they are set on different levels, showing different ground lines by the use of a fine painted one. A sense of a landscape is also suggested using this technique. The Novi painter is known for making deliberate attempts to express space and depth. A later painter went by the name of Achilles, who is known by and named for an amphora with a painting of Achilles and Bryces. His period of activity coincides with the Parthenon sculptures and the administration of Pericles. It was likely that he could have been an apprentice of the Berlin painter. The Achilles painter shared a delight in figure drawing and was commonly cited for his delicately drawn, gentle, pensive, and melancholy figures. It seemed that he was not as interested in complicated storytelling, but was rather satisfied with studies of the gods. The Achilles painter has been attributed for about 300 face paintings off of his work of Achilles and Bryces. In the classical period, the newly constructed constructed Parthenon served as inspiration for much of red figure pottery. The potters translated the details of the Parthenon through the details in the garments worn by their figures. 
By this period, the fabric foldeth and fell more naturally because of the use of more depicted and heavier lines and a greater sense of depth. A lot of painters focus on emphatic line and simplified composition and emphasize symmetry, harmony, and balance in their work. Unlike in the early classical period, figures were much more slender and were painted divine-like, as if they were radiating serenity. Narratives were a large focus during the area, and the subject of the feminine increased greatly in importance. Pieces focused on women's lives and their role in marriage and preparing for marriage. Many wedding-style vases with wedding scenes were painted during the period. The Mannerists, a group that popped up during the early classical period, continued in the, into the classical era. However, the group was then donned the late Mannerists due to several changes in style. Like the Mannerists of the early classical period, the late Mannerists maintained elongated figures with smaller heads, stiff garments, a theatrical air to their pieces, and the black figure pottery style of ornamentation. They also continued the Mannerists' interest in older styles and themes. However, unlike their predecessors, the late Mannerists had no flair for the patterns so common in the Mannerists' work. The file painter, a pupil of the early classical period's Achilles painter, was an incredibly important and famous painter of the classical period. He was active from around 460 to 430 BC and his namesake was the file, a pottery piece he enjoyed painting and that was rarely used in red figure pottery. Like the painters of the period, the file painter focused on narrative in almost all of his pieces. Additionally, he drew on themes partially influenced by contemporary theater. In general, the file painter preferred and mainly painted larger pieces. In addition to painting red figure pottery, the file painter also painted white ground works. Late classical red figure pottery advanced in the late 5th century BC, between 420 and 400 BC. Artists began to focus on the depth and volume of more domestic scenes in contrast to focusing solely on mythical stories. Figures on the pots had more range of emotion as artists became more focused on the contour of the curves on the human figure. This freer style of painting allowed for artists to look at the more sensual side of Greek life. Many of the pieces show nude women with clothing falling off of their bodies using heavy drapery. Near the end of the red figure pottery, many artists began to move towards white ground pottery that used white slit background. These had a greater chance for variation in color, such as green or mauve. This allowed more freedom for the artist. A famous painter from this period was the Medius painter. Many works were attributed to him at this time period for his focus on the human figure. He had more sensual subjects than previous artists, with many being women and cupid subjects. In a lot of his work, he looks at heavy drapery with very fine lines, creating a depth on the form. On his larger forms, he is known for creating heavily detailed, ornate scenes of Greek domestic life. Throughout the duration of red figure pottery, it has seen changes in subject matter and style. Overall, the demand for red figure pottery decreased as black figure pottery became comparative. It ended around 300 BC as artists began to move into white ground pottery and other forms.